Okay, so this is probably one of the final entries that I'll be doing for my Threadripper build. We finally got the final fan hub, so as you can see, every single light in the case, all the fans, the strips, everything is all working. Um, it's It looks really bright on camera. It's not this bright in person. I tried to focus it as best I could, but for some reason it just looks really, really bright on the camera and it's not that bright in person like that fan the fans are not bright white they're all rainbow colors and I don't know it's just it's, it's much brighter on the camera than it is to be honest um, I particularly like the way the front fans hit the reservoir as you can see on the front here go in a little bit I think that does a little bit of a better job you can see fans and the strips on the front of the case illuminate the radiator or the, or the reservoir and it goes to like a dark to bright green uh, I really like there's a lot of really nice light throughout the case the motherboard we went with a we decided to go with an Asus ROG Strix 1080 Ti um, and that's you can see the rainbow colors on the graphics card here syncs with the motherboard and the memory everything really came together I'm very happy with the colors it was a lot a lot of frustration and a lot of work as I stated in all the previous posts but this is like super nice looking and like I said it's not as bright and overpowering in person their camera for some reason the ISO just won't go down or whatever I don't know exactly how to manually adjust the ISO and I don't really want to mess it up so we're going to show you a little bit more there's the ROG logo on the top of the graphics card which I really really like because it's covering the one on the motherboard so I really like that there's one on the graphics card to replace it it's a little difficult to see ROG super nice super nice beautiful graphics card but there's quite a bit of coil wine compared to the MSI cards that we've been using in the past so yeah that yeah, beauty she is nice it's a beautiful card and oh I don't think we mentioned we also decided to put in a lot of peripheral cards not using all of them at the moment but we will eventually the first one up here in the first slot this is the 10 gigabit internet card ethernet card this is my Elgato HD60 Pro which we're currently we don't really need it because I have an external that I use and these are my sound cards the main card and the daughter card which I use every day they're my favorite I absolutely love them but it, it made me happy that if I wanted to I could take out both the Elgato and the internet card and do SLI uh, if I ever felt the need to um, because I really don't need either of those right now in the future. I could definitely see myself using them, but Just there's a lot of stuff you can do with this motherboard and case and everything so, Yeah, that's another sh let's see Another wider shot Get in front of the case to show you the fans <clears throat> we got this replace. This is the Corsair 700D case that I've used my previous build, and it had a front that was completely covered. It was solid, and they came out with an updated front panel that you could replace it. So that's what we ordered here. As you can see, it's my Logitech surround sound speaker control box there next to it. But yeah, it looks really, really nice. So yeah, that's. That's what she looks like. Very happy. Now we're just trying to get her to work because we may make a separate video about this, but we've ha been having nothing but problems getting Threadripper to perform. And we've narrowed it down to AI Suite 3, which is the motherboard software. Um, it's a you know program to control the motherboard functions um, and look at CPU you know functions and temperatures and fans and all that so unfortunately we can't use that we had to go through a reset because that was the only way we could uh, get around the issue I tried uninstalling AI suite I tried doing a restore point nothing seemed to work except resetting windows which is a pain 
but luckily we narrowed it down to AI Suite 3 and after not installing that I've installed most of my other programs and it seems to work fine so we're gonna try Destiny 2 tonight and we'll let you know how it looks and plays and whatnot so I'm gonna put the uh, window on and get a quick thing of the window going on so I'm gonna turn the camera off while I do that alright quick little clip of it with the door on I love it it's a uh, it could be cleaned a little bit, but it looks really good. It's got some smudges and stuff, but I mean, it's it's a four-year-old case. So I mean, uh, the Fantex case either came scratched or we scratched it when we were trying to clean the sticky stuff from the packaging uh, on the window. We either, you know, scratched the window cleaning it, or it already was, you know, scratched when we got it and. Either way, th this window is full, the other one was half, wouldn't have been able to see the reservoir or anything, so this is way, way, way nicer, totally worth it, 100%. I'm very satisfied with the, uh, the overall aesthetic. You know, I was originally going to put it down on the side of my desk, there's no, there, I can't believe I even thought that I would do that, water cooling it, like we did. That gives you a little bit better feel of the lighting, the, the, the back fan is still not that bright. It looks white in the camera, and it's definitely not like that. See, I like how it changes color on the reservoir. And, I mean, you can definitely see it. When I'm sitting at my desk and I turn to look at the reservoir, I can see the entire reservoir, so it's really nice looking. What I really like is the, <clears throat> the RGB strips. They go along the case. Just the way it accents, it bounces off a lot of stuff is really nice. I think, I mean, it was a lot of time and frustration and money for these lit up fans and whatnot. But I honestly thought it was worth it. Oh, I noticed you can't see at all the LED strips on the radiator anymore. I'm going to try and maybe. No, you really can't. There are LED strips on basically that bounce off the radiator that I can't see anymore. That's a little disappointing. Yeah, wow, way up there, away from ah, Okay. That's kind of disappointing. I just noticed that. But, I mean, overall, still amazing. So, yeah, that's going to conclude the Threadripper build. Yes, look at that. Look at that. I have my monitor off, so it's a little, you know, my third monitor's off, so it's better uh, light. You can see the light better, but yeah, it's really nice. Like, the way it bounces off my blinds, and it really lights the, uh, the, the room nicely. I mean, it's not overpowering, like I said. The lights are, the fans come out brighter on the camera. They're really not at all white way they look. I wish I could show it to you, but I, I don't know how to do the ISO very well on the DSLR, but I like how the rear fan, look at that, it's awesome. That's really awesome. Like, I didn't really plan that, but like, it's been there and it looks fucking awesome. Can't wait for Battlefront 2. So we're going to stream that with this behemoth. Yeah, Threadripper is officially... Well, like I said, aside from, I still have a lot of games and programs to install. Like, I have no Adobe, no Sony Vegas, none of that, no editing software right now. Just a couple games to make sure everything's working right with the drivers and stuff. So, yeah, well, uh, that's it.